Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Paranormal News. Tonight's article comes from MegalithicMarvels.com, and the headline is 1919 Report. 18-foot fossilized giant skeleton found in Texas River. It was posted on January 19th, 2022. And here you see the article from the Coco Nino Sun, published July 11th, 1919. And I will be reading the text of all of this article down here below. Text. A giant skeleton 18 feet tall. Austin, Texas, June 14. If the report that the fossilized skeleton of a giant 18 feet tall has been found near Seymour, Texas, is true, it is the most important ethnological discovery ever made in the world, remarked Dr. J.E. Pierce, professor of anthropology of the University of Texas. It would break all previous records of giants by nearly 10 feet, as the tallest man known to anthropological research was only 8 feet 5 inches in height. The skeleton is in possession of W.J. McKinney, Houston, Texas, oil prospector, who found it, and has been seen by a number of people who vouch for the truth of the size of the relic of the heretofore unknown race. Mr. McKinney, while making an excavation on the narrow watershed between the Brazos and Wichita rivers, came upon the fossilized skeleton near the surface. Mr. Kenny writes, I estimate that this man weighed from 2,000 to 2,500 pounds. According to my deductions, he lived around 2,800 years ago. The skull is six times the size of that of an ordinary man. Mr. McKinney does not explain how he arrived at the figures as to the probable period of the existence of this remarkable man. It is probable that the bones of the giant will be donated to the Smithsonian Institution, which under the direction of Dr. J. Walter Fuchs is now conducting anthropological research work in Texas. And that is the end of this article. Now there are a couple of very important points in this article. The first point is that a professor of anthropology from the University of Texas is talking about this skeleton that was found 18 feet tall. So this isn't just some farmer in a field that's like, I found a skeleton and tells a newspaper reporter. This is a professor of anthropology from the University of Texas. That's the first point. The second point is that we know that there were bones because it says in the article that they were donating the bones to the Smithsonian. So we know that this skeleton actually existed because otherwise, how would they be donating it? And a second part of that point is that they donated it to the Smithsonian. Now, we have said on multiple episodes of staring that the Smithsonian was in possession of giant bones and that they covered it up. Well, this is proof right here. This article is proof that the Smithsonian did get giant bones. Giant bones were donated to them. And they do not claim to have them today. They do not uh, put them on display or anything like that. So this is proof that what we are talking about is absolutely true. So I hope that you enjoyed this article. Let me know down in the comment section what you think. As always, it is up to you to make up your own mind. And I will catch you on the next one. Until I speak to you again. Love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do we. Bye-bye.